Why was the legendary USS Enterprise CVN-65 the only ship of her class? Well, the simple answer is this. As you guys can understand, building a nuclear-powered floating airfield for these freedom-delivering machines is a little bit expensive. The US Navy originally planned six Enterprise-class carriers, but the cost of constructing just one carrier was so high that it made them cancel the other five. Our beloved Big E was a difficult undertaking when it came to construction. By 1957, when the USS Enterprise was ordered, two Kitty Hawk-class carriers, the Kitty Hawk and the Constellation, were already laid down, and by 1960, when the Big E was still being built, the Navy cancelled the additional five carriers of the Enterprise class and decided to build two more Kitty Hawk-class carriers. It was due to the Big E's cost overruns and due to the Kitty Hawk's successful design. Some people also say that the Enterprise was a platform to test nuclear propulsion for large vessels. The Navy's experience with the USS Nautilus SSN-571 was awesome, but would the Enterprise be as good as the Nautilus? And the answer is yes, it was.